Cooperstown, New York, home to the Baseball Hall of Fame, Doubleday Field, and Oma Gang. Cooperstown not only offers some good old-fashioned family fun for any baseball fanatic, it also gives us the world's most unique brewery. Brewery Oma Gang broke ground here back in 1997 and has been giving the world the most amazing brews ever since. This is where brewing is an art and partaking is a passion. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Phil Leinhart, brewmaster at Oma Gang Brewery. Phil, you gotta tell me a little bit about how you got the dream job. How did you become brewmaster at Oma Gang Brewery? Well, it's been a bit of a long road. I entered the brewing industry in the late 80s uh, after I got out of school with a chemistry degree. Then I was over in Germany for a little bit, uh, <laughs> worked in Paulon or there, studied brewing over there. Yeah. Uh, came back, worked at the Lion Brewery in Pennsylvania. Uh, and then was with Anheuser-Busch in Newark, New Jersey for 12 years and then I've just been here about a year ago. I have a brother who lives in town here so that's... Uh, <laughs> nice home. I've been coming up here for a while, bringing my family up here so they were familiar with it and um, just good luck I guess, you know. Do you know how Oma Gang got its name? It's a medieval festival in Belgium that they hold in uh, Brussels every year. <laughs> oh cool. Uh, it's supposed to be quite an event. It must be. Yeah, I've never seen it, but maybe on one of my trips I'll be able to catch it. What are your business trips? Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, I've never been to Belgium uh, before, but since August I've been there three times. No kidding. Yeah, this area was the uh, was the hop growing area in the United States around the turn of the century. Uh, so I had those roots. So basically, what we're standing on now in this whole farm field used to be hops. Yeah, this was a hop farm actually. With the economy the way it is, I mean, how do you feel that uh, microbreweries are doing in general? Do you, do you think any are going to go out of business or go bankrupt? Or well, I, I hope not. You know, I, I mean, I know I've heard it said a lot. You know, even when the economy is down, everybody still drinks beer. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll be in our favor. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I think we're going on a tour now. Are you excited about yeah, that? Yeah, cool. absolutely. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks for the couple Thanks. minutes. The malt gets milled. You make a mash from the malt with hot water. Strain the mash to get wort. Boil the wort. Add hops and spices such as coriander and sweet orange peel. Add second round of hops for aroma. At the end of this boil, the wort gets whirlpooled to separate the solids. The wort gets cooled, then aerated with oxygen to make the yeast reproduce. Then it gets pumped into a fermenter. After fermentation, it gets crash cooled, bottled, labeled, boxed up, then thrown into the warm cellar for the secondary fermentation within the bottle. After 8 to 10 days in the warm cellar with a constant 80 degree temperature, the bottles reach the target carbonation and are ready to be shipped out or sold in the Oma Gang store to be enjoyed by the beer lover. It's probably one of the best parts about a tour here at Oma Gang is obviously the tasting. So Phil, we're going to go through six different beers in order if you were to drink all six in a row. And you're going to show us the proper pour and uh, and basically colors and stuff like that. Right, uh, these beers are lined up and the way you'd want to try them basically from the, the lightest, most delicate flavor through to the heaviest, most uh, robust in flavor. So we'll start with our take on a Belgian wit, our Witta. The Witta. This is the one that just won a silver medal at the World Beer Cup. Only beat out by Ho Hoogarden. Hoogarden, that's how you pronounce it. Here's the characteristic pop. <laughs> we want that. As I say, you know, Belgian and Belgian style beers are pretty high in carbonation, higher than your typical American beer. Cool. So basically pouring a uh, beer this high carbonation, you want to tilt the glass at first. If I was to pour a full glass, I would straighten it out. Gotcha. Beautiful. And obviously if I got a full pour, I'd get more of a head Oh up. yeah, yeah. We don't want to be but knocked we... out yet. <laughs> So basically, is it, is it when you're tasting beer, when a beer kind of sore, you sw swirl? Yeah, basically you want to swirl to release the aromas, get a good whiff. And, uh, now what are the special spices in the Witta? Uh, the Witta is brewed with uh, a sweet orange peel and coriander. Coriander? Yeah, oh. crushed sweet millet in a small spice mill. And, and that's how the tea bag comes into play. Yeah, the sweet orange peel and the crushed coriander we put in the tea bag. and. Just keep it in the kettle. What do they say in Belgium? Cheers. Cheers!
That was a good pop. That was a great pop. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Oh, you definitely smell the chocolate. Yeah. For sure. A little bit less bitter than the Abbey. A little a little more fruity. Oh, it just smells fantastic. This could be an air freshener. <laughs> this was actually at the uh, World Beer Cup presentation dinner. They, this was actually on every table uh, <laughs> paired with a dessert. Really? Yeah, and it went great. It was like a chocolate uh, pie with vanilla ice cream, I think. It's fantastic. And uh, it went great with it. A little bit sweeter it than is, the Abbey. It is. I was going to say, it's definitely sweeter. This is just so beautiful. Wow. That, again, fill it. Through the whole gamut, no disappointments. Fantastic, Great. delicious Great. beer. I, I'm just so impressed. So impressed. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, it's not a bad life, being a brewmaster. No, I mean, it's... Like it has its challenges. It's not like every day is uh, we're just in there, you know, tasting the beer. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> so it's the, the most important thing is tasting the beer, probably. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's a lot of complexity in brewing. You just have to watch the details and take care of everything. It's like working on a puzzle. Yeah. That's great. Thank you again, Phil, so yeah, much no for, for your time. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you for the beer. <laughs> okay, great, great. Glad you liked it. Absolutely. Well, I got all my goodies. I'm ready to hit the road. That's about it from Cooperstown, New York. If you want to check out more information on tours, merchandise, make sure you check out omagang.com. And make sure you drink responsibly and always have a designated driver. I'm Ronnie Miller. I'll see you next time.